What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy recipe of steamed uh, carrots in the Instapot. I'm not going to do anything fancy, I'm just going to steam them and season them up a little bit with olive oil, probably salt and pepper. But all you do is, I already jumped the gun a little bit, but you're going to fill your Instapot with about a cup of water. I already kind of did that, so there's a cup of water down in there. You also need one of these steaming baskets. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. Uh, I'll try and remember to post a link. And then all we're gonna do is dump some carrots in there and I'll show you what to do from there. All right, so we've got our carrots in here. We're just gonna get this on. And get this plugged in, because of course I forgot. Okay, so we got it plugged in. We got our vent in the ceiling position. We'll go down to manual and I'm gonna let it go for three minutes and I'm gonna do a, probably an instant release. So we'll see it when three minutes have gone by. All right, so we just had a countdown of zero, so we're gonna go ahead and do an instant release. And wait for it to finish. Well, this is always the moment of truth, right? I'm gonna take the lid off here. And... They're pretty soft. I'm happy with it. You can probably go for four minutes with this many carrots. I put about two bags in, but it's soft enough to my liking. So now I'm gonna get this out and get it transferred into a, another dish. All right, so there you have it, looking pretty good. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil and do some salt and pepper. Just simple for me tonight, but if you wanted, you could do like a stick of butter, add some brown sugar to it, then drizzle that on top. That'd be really good too. Or you can cut them up and make them smaller, then do it for bite size, but there's endless options. So again, I'm just going simple. So I'll show you what that looks like. Just gonna add a little bit of olive oil so we can get kind of a, a binder here, to toss them up. And then add like a tablespoon or so of salt. That was probably a little too much, but whatever. Just shake it up and I'll let you go. Gonna add some pepper. And same thing, toss it and add some more. And I actually like black pepper a lot, so you can add as much as you want. And I'm just adding until I'm happy. Changed my mind on the spot. Gonna add some garlic powder too, because why not? Good toss. So there you have it. I actually just tried one and they're really good. The garlic powder was a good decision. Um, made a little bit of garlic in there. I really like it. So what I'm actually gonna do, these are soft enough to my liking, but it'd be okay if they're a little bit softer. So if you prefer that, what you can do is saran wrap the top of this and let it sit for a good five or 10 minutes and then take it off. So I'm gonna do that just, well, because I can. <laughs> I'm just gonna see how it turns out. It's already good, but we'll see if we can get them a little bit softer. All right, so my carrots have been sitting here, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And um, you can see that they're still cooking. Of course, I'm knocking stuff over. But um, now they're, like, they're really soft and they're looking great. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you found it useful, please subscribe. And then we'll see you guys in the next video.